Cardano is dead. That coin is finished. Get it out of your portfolio is what a lot of people are saying. Because when you look at the price action, everybody, it doesn't look fantastic. Look at some of these headlines just recently. Is Cardano dead in 2024? From Binance, is Cardano dead? And then we have the Dead Coins Report 2024, and it seems like Cardano is topping the list. But these people couldn't be more wrong. And in fact, I'm going to tell you two other coins that I think are definitely not dead, although the naysayers are saying it is, and where I think these coins are going to go in the future. But we're starting with Cardano, and one of the reasons I know that thing is not dead is the notable development activity happening over the last month. If you don't know what this is, these are devs working on the project, devs developing Cardano and Cardano coming in at number three here and not only that Cardano's on the upswing while some of these coins are on the downswing so and people are getting excited about a massive upgrade happened to Cardano so you know maybe articles are out there trying to suppress the price right before the price goes parabolic and just rallies to the upside potentially even five dollars this cycle Bitfinex becomes first exchange to confirm readiness for the Cardano Chang hard fork everybody there's a massive massive upgrade upgrade happening on the Cardano ecosystem. If you want to learn more about that, we have it right here. Most significant milestone in Cardano's history. We covered it about a month ago. If you want to learn more about the coin in general, including its origin, go watch this video right there. And with the Chang hard fork, people are starting to get very, very bullish. Uh, in fact, Cardano has formed one of the most bullish chart patterns in technical analysis and is called the breaker block pattern. And not only that, we have the stochastic RSI is about to cross on the monthly chart. Now, the stochastic RSI is a very bullish sign. It's when this blue line passes the orange line, and then that sets up previous rallies in the past, especially when it's a back test of the breaker. We have a back test of the breaker right here. You can see, you know, back testing what happened right there. Here here, we're back testing what happened right here, and we're about to have a stochastic cross on the RSI. Now, this is very, very bullish, and you see what happened last cycle potentially forming something very, very bullish this cycle as well. And in fact, uh, when the same thing happened to Bitcoin in 2023, it was a big move to the upside here. So ignore the people who post nonsense saying ADA won't rally. High probability with this chart setup that Cardano is going to rally hard. Cardano, far from finished, everybody. And if you look at the order book, it is largely agreeing here. A lot more people trying to buy the dip than sell any kind of pump right there. And if I had to choose a deep cut for Cardano, I'm a big fan of World Mobile Token and Snack. These are two, uh, two of the top projects building. We have a meme coin and then we have a telecom play. Now to see the second coin people are considering dead, everybody. I'm using the same metric we just checked, and that's going to be the sentiment uh, development activity report. Number one is ICP, and ICP also on the upswing here. So ICP, a lot of movement to the upside. Now, you see all these articles, you see in videos, is ICP dead, ICP is finished. A large reason is going to be the way that token was launched. You can see, by all measures, this was a failed launch, everybody. But when you look at the last three months, I'm starting to see some bullishness. I'm starting to see some higher lows, and I'm starting to see a chart pattern that maybe wants to break to the upside. But it's not only just the last three months. We can pull out the weekly charts here. This is a ICP on the weekly. And right now we are retesting a previous support range. You can see, you know, this was acted as resistance, resistance, and the support band potentially setting up a massive movement to $80 target. Can ICP go to $80? Because it's clearly not dead. You see the devs are building here. And folks, I found something very bullish in the charts here. Now, if you'll notice the very top range, it's kind of hard to tell because it's on a log chart. Well, what would you know? Look right there, right there at that $80 range. The reason this is important, that was the first level of resistance after it finally seemingly found a little bit of a local bottom, traded sideways. You know, this was uh, June of 2021, uh, later ended up peaking in September of 2021. So this is several months right here on the three-day chart. Looks like, you know, very, very uh, potential target hitting the top of the Fibonacci here at the 4.236. Now, the next level, though, I would be paying attention to would just be the 382. You can see it kind of acted as resistance before. I think we're going to break through this, but it will stop there for a while and good potential to come back even lower. So that's going to be right there at $10. So not only do you have it on the 382, strong psychological support level and icp they're making partnerships they're doing things with the un they're doing things with governments and icp if you don't know what it is it is a alternative to corporate cloud services so a lot of data on a blockchain and so having something with a credentials pilot program in cambodia 
perfect use case for ICP. And then the last and final coin I'm going to do, and then I'm going to give you a sleeper pick at the end here, is also going to be on this list. And it is Polkadot. And you can see Polkadot also on the rise when it comes to development. Now, Polkadot, is it dead? You're seeing the same stories. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, it's done. In fact, they're even making meme coins over Polkadot being dead. The truth is, it finally happened. Polkadot is dead. Now, I'm not saying go buy this meme coin. I know nothing about it. I'm just showing you how strong that narrative was. They're actually making fun of it. But folks, I think a rebound is imminent. I think Polkadot is about to have a huge, huge rally. One of the main reasons is that DOT is oversold. We are in these oversold regions, and this is going to attract more traders. This is going to attract more buyers on the range. Not only that, the number of active addresses on the seven-day moving average is about a 25% pump right there. You can see the active addresses. I think maybe that was the bottom, and now the active address is just going to continue to go higher and higher. As the active addresses go up, so does the price. It just marches in lockstep. Now, Polkadot doesn't look like the best on the charts right now, but the potential is there. You can see it was above $50 last cycle. But where's Polkadot going to go this cycle? That's what people want to know. Well, there's insane polka dot targets out there this guy is saying polka dot is about to have a huge huge rally going from the current level you know around four dollars right now four dollars and 80 cents and this thing is going to pump all the way up to 24 dollars potentially so we're trading within he says a descending triangle well folks i kind of see a little bit of a falling wedge if you don't know what a falling wedge is Falling wedge is a bullish signal, meaning typically the price goes up. It says the sellers are losing momentum and the buyers are moving in to slow down the fall, the fall of the price there. So here you can see DOT looks bullish. A breakout above the current resistance trend line could trigger a great rally towards $24. Well, is $24 in the cards? I did the same thing here. We're looking at the weekly and I pulled out the FIB extension from the swing high down to the swing low, everyone. And... This is a multi-year support area. You can see, you know, we just perfectly tested this when Bitcoin was in free fall. Altcoins were just, you know, bleeding, bleeding against Bitcoin this past week. It hit this certain line. We also hit it in October 2023. The markets were very, very bullish that time. And you can see it was basically, uh, you know, where it found its support previously, though. But $24, let's talk about a $24 polka dot. When you use the Fibonacci, you're going to see a couple targets to the upside. And one of you know uh, right here, really, really close to $24 is the 2618. But I think it's actually going to, uh, you know, maybe pause before that right around this $23.90 range. And then that is just going to be, you know, a local area of resistance due to the previous cycles. It was kind of where it stopped last time. Probably going to stop there again this time, folks. So that would be uh, the first area I would be looking at. You can see on the daily range, you know, just a very, very important level. Acted as support, acted as support, pretty much acted as support, then turned into resistance. So I think we're going to have to uh, burst through that first. So dot $24, very, very doable, everybody. Now, falling wedge, also, you know, point to movement to the upside. Now, dot has a giant ecosystem. And if I were to choose just one winner, you know, Maybe a little bit of a, a risky play here, uh, but it's Astar. Astar, they're kind of doing cool things. They just did something with G-Shock. And so, uh, yeah, they're actually releasing G-Shocks with the logo on there. So pretty bullish stuff. You know, the, it's a giant, giant ecosystem. They're doing all types of things. A lot of real-world asset plays in the Polkadot ecosystem. But you can always find that by going to Polkadot on CoinGecko. And then on the left side, you're going to see their chains hit that Polkadot ecosystem. And then it just unlocks the whole ecosystem up for you folks. So those are the three coins that people are saying dead, but I think is far from dead. And then even a couple sleeper picks for you folks. So let me know down in the comments. Is ICP dead? Is Polkadot dead? Is Cardano dead? And I'll see you at the top with your dead coins.